It was nice of the guys to, to let me and Dan Bates do that. It was cool to go out uh, one last time in front of the home crowd and, and be a part of it somehow. And I had to fall on him. You know, I'm excited to see him uh, have a great game today and break that record. So he's a great guy. This is my last day of the glory. You know, I think Curtis is a great, not just a great player, but he's a great, great person. I mean, he's just a hard worker. He's done a lot of great things around here. So I think not just as a great player, but a great person. Hey, take care of business, and we're the champions. Let's go. Champions, champions. One, two, three, three, three champions. champions. Lobo shows seven at the line. As BYU runs up the middle, Curtis Brown. Curtis may go for the record and a touchdown. The 30 to 20, the 10, the score. Touchdown, Curtis Brown. BYU's all-time leading rusher on that play. I always knew it would be broken. Uh, I thought it would be broken before now, and I'm, I'm just lucky to keep it as long as it, you know, as I kept it. But uh, if I were to pick someone to break it, it would be Curtis. I mean, just just because I look up to him, he's a great, a great guy. <laughs> yeah, I was giving Curtis a hard time in the, in the at the beginning of the week. I said, "Hey, man." Uh, just letting you know right now, you got, you got five carries. It was 39 yards, and you got five carries. If you didn't get five carries, I'm going to tell them to take you out. We had great backside blocking. I was able to get up to the second level, and then, then I knew it was going to just be a foot race. And these guys are giving me a hard time all year about how fast I am. And so my number one goal is if I get out in the open, is never to get caught. And just didn't get caught. <laughs> Shotgun snap to John. John lobbing for the end zone for McKay Jacobson. Follows in the air as an intercepted. There's a fight for the ball. Touchdown! McKay took it away for the score! I feel honored to be able to represent uh, this football team and, and relinking uh, a program to uh, championship football, which is what the expectation here is, is at BYU, which we all know and understand. Picking up blockers as John throws complete to Harleen. Harleen breaks the tackle, 50 and 40. Harleen 30, Harleen 20. He's going to score the 10, the 5, the touchdown. As Nelson drops the throw, looks underneath complete. Oh, it's intercepted. It's intercepted by Cameron Jensen at the 11-yard line. Holy cow, is that a web? He's got stick on his hands because he reaches out with one hand. Receivers left. John takes a shotgun snap. They blitz from the edge. John has time. Now goes for the end zone for Curtis Brown. Top for the touchdown. Curtis Brown. I'm gonna be open with both guys. Was blitzing. Oh. And the linebacker that couldn't come from this side. And he's got it. His second touchdown today. Third touchdown receiving this season. First and ten for Chris Nelson under center. Takes a deep drop. Throws to the far side. It is intercepted by Kelly Papinga. The 50 and the 40. He's got the 30. He's got the 20 inside the 20. And a flag flies at the end of the play, but BYU will take it over with 13 seconds to go until halftime. <laughs> John takes a snap. Going to lob it for Matt Allen in the end zone. Matt makes the catch for the score. Touchdown, Matt Allen and the BYU Cougars. Again, with the number one objective being points and turnovers, those two things still held intact, even though it wasn't uh, certainly a dominant performance nor um, statistically an impressive performance without those two things. The 2006 Mountain West Conference Football Championship Trophy. Congratulations. Congratulations.